Hello everyone, I'm Michaela Kathleen and today I'm doing the April Fool's book tag. So jumping right in, the first prompt on this tag is Fooled by the Front. Pick a book with a cover that doesn't reflect the story. And for this one I'm going with The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I've never really cared much for this cover. I don't get what it has to do with the book. <laughs> I don't think it really reflects the story at all. So yeah, I'm going with The Book Thief for this one. <laughs> Number two is don't joke with my emotions. Pick a book that lulled you into a false sense of security and then broke your heart. And for this one, I'm going with A Man Called Uva by Frederick Bachman. I went into this one not knowing too much about it. And it's kind of a story about like a curmudgeonly old man who kind of learns to let people into his life again. So it's one of those kind of bittersweet books that has like really sad moments and really heartfelt moments and it really pulled on my heartstrings. Number three is Leafing Through Lies. Pick a book with a misleading synopsis. And with this one, it's not so much that the synopsis was so misleading. It was I had heard a lot from booktube about it and the synopsis does was like slightly misleading in a way. The book was Dear Martin by Nick Stone and this one I just went into it expecting it to be told entirely through letters to the deceased Martin Luther King Jr. kind of a letter slash journal entry thing but it does have actual narrative and the letters are just sprinkled throughout the book which was actually a nice surprise because I do prefer to have narrative with letters and things like that sprinkled throughout rather than just letters all the way through. So misleading but in a way that turned out to be good. <laughs> Question number four is played yourself. Pick a book that you thought you would love but was a big disappointment. And for that I'm going with Lovely War by Julie Berry. This I thought would be one of my favorite books of all time. I thought it would be a five-star read because it is a historical World War One and Two fiction told by the narrator of Aphrodite, which one of my other favorite books of all time is a historical fiction about World War Two told by death. So I thought that this would be another favorite. And it wasn't terrible. It was just pretty slow and yeah, I just didn't have a lot of engagement with the book. I thought I would love it and I didn't. It was more of a three-star read. Question number five is personal prank. Pick a book that you keep saying you'll read and you don't. Which honestly for me, this is kind of just my entire TBR. My TBR is so long now that I get a book and I put it on the TBR and two years later, have I read it? Maybe. <laughs> but I do kind of follow my TBR in the order that I acquire books. So I don't very often have like a book that I keep saying I'll read that I then don't read. My TBR is just so long at this point. <laughs> Question number six is Fooled You. Pick a book with a big plot twist. And for this one I'm just gonna go with kind of the entire Harry Potter series. I always feel like these books, they're fantasy books, but they definitely also have that mystery vibe in the way that things are set up and come together at the end of each book. And so yeah, I was always caught off guard and surprised by the things that had been set up and how they paid off at the end. <laughs> Prompt number seven is fake your death. Pick a book that had a very surprising death. And for this one I'm going with The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. And spoiler alert because this death happens at the end of the third book, so if you haven't read the series. But uh, the death of Prim <laughs> was very surprising, very sad, and I think it was just so dramatic because the entire point of the series was to save Prim's life. The book starts with Katniss volunteering to take Prim's place in the Hunger Games so that Prim won't die, and then they kill her <laughs> and it's the worst. So yeah, that was a big surprise death for me. And finally, prompt number eight is foolproof. Pick a book that satisfied you completely. And I could have gone with a lot of books here. I have a lot of five star reads on my shelves, but I decided to just go with like my most recent five star read, which is still 
The First Girl Child by Amy Harmon. This was a really great fantasy book. I loved the world that was set up here. I liked all the characters. I loved the vibes. A total satisfying five-star read. <laughs> and that was it for the April Fool's tag. Happy April Fool's Day. I hope you enjoyed watching and now on to the quote for today's video, which today I have kind of my favorite quote that is from Harry Potter and it is said by Dumbledore and it goes, words are, in my not so humble opinion, our most inexhaustible source of magic, capable of both inflicting injury and remedying it. Thanks for watching. Remember, words matter.